Hey folks, today's reading is the first time in the book of Hosea that we hear how Israel is responding to the challenge the Lord has brought to his people. And it seems like they've had a change of heart. Let's return to God, they say. We've come under his judgment because of our waywardness. So let's be restored into relationship with him. We know he always responds to those who return. And of course, they're right. God always lovingly responds to those who put their hands up and admit they've got it wrong. Those who really mean it. But that's the problem. God can see right through them, which is why he replies in verse four and says, what am I going to do with you? My promises are rock steady, but your promises are here today and gone tomorrow. God knows that they don't really mean it. They don't really want him. They just want a good life. They just want their suffering to end. They're using God as a means to an end, not an end in itself. So they figure that if they just offer a bunch of sacrifices and rituals, if they just go through the motions, then it will all be okay with God. But God says, forget the do's and don'ts of religion. I'm not interested I simply want you to love me and know me. I want you to desire to be close to me. This is relationship, not religion. This is about God's goodness flowing out of us as we draw close to him, not trying to impress God with our own goodness, which often is not very good at all. Israel is still trying to be its own saviour and Lord. They're still being self-centred and self-serving rather than recognise that they simply need to throw themselves on the mercy and love of God. God says he longs to heal and restore them, but their stupid selfishness keeps getting in the way. Jesus often talked about the importance of repentance. It's a powerful word. It's not simply regret at how we've treated God. It's much deeper than that. To repent is to change your mind, change your thinking, to get to a place where you recognise that God's way is best and you are utterly dependent on him to help you live it. God challenges his people in the passage to stop looking to themselves and other things to save them. Look to him, give up and embrace his loving forgiveness and hope. Do it every day and see what God is able to do through us. Repent, change your mind, change your thinking, change your direction. Embrace God first and foremost for who he is, not what he can do for you. And so why not start today?